Hey, this is Tom Panich from Holy Anointed Ministries, being safe out here in the world. And I was just out here getting some uh, cinnamon crispies, Mexican cinnamon crispies for the wife. Fellas, feed your wives. Amen. Come on, that's prophetic even more than food. But Jesus said, feed my sheep. Your wife is a sheep. Amen. But I went in going to go into the Mexican store there and I'm going to do that but I looked up and I saw an eagle and I heard the Lord say of course the scripture he will rise us up like eagles I'm just trying to get out of the way here a little bit you know amidst all the dust and debris that's potentially dangerous out here covering my eyes the Lord says hallelujah he will rise us up on the wings of eagles amen I believe it's a real prophetic sign for Vancouver as I am standing here right in front of the building that I preached Tabernacle of David kingdom worship in for six months once a week yet to release those uh, videos on that I'm trying to really take care of myself here because for those of you who know me I got a few health issues that's three actually four with the sleep apnea machine so pray for me but man isn't this something this is just two blocks I'm not even two blocks about three buildings one two this I would consider a church and then the church next to it and then uh, Muchas Gracias there and then the Mexican store just a few doors down but where I preached is now a hair and beauty salon come on now and I really believe that's prophetic too I'm like okay at least it didn't turn into something really super demonic because about ready to get in the spirit here in this thing. When <clears throat> I was teaching tabernacle here, my back was to the back of the altar of the Mexican church that is still there, I believe. I gotta have to look at the title here. No, it's Recovery Cafe, Clark County. So, you know, God's doing the work, it's a little different. Actually, there is church here I'm going to go on the street yeah hallelujah yeah it's it's uh, Latino service come on somebody so when I was preaching in this building here in back of me my back was to their back of their altar so we were back to back my god that's pretty good in Jesus' name. So, Lord, I just prophesy right now that <clears throat> even though it was a lightly attended uh, series of meetings I did, I did it faithfully, God, because you just kept telling me to go do it. We had some fun times and some days, you guys. Oh, there's a full gospel chapter guy on his bike. Someday you'll see those videos of me uh, teaching tabernacle so God we just thank you that you made this into a beauty place and there's still a church connected to the same building amen and I'm just walking here with it a little bit the church connected still to this building you know my friend had a sign business there it was like, that's prophetic in itself. It was a sign and a wonder time that I was preaching in there. Just like my mentor, Dr. Norval Hayes. Signs and wonder, he started, Dr. Norval started in a storefront. Beauty salon, come on guys. God wants to make you beautiful. Amen. So it was prophetic. Prophetic, prophetic, prophetic. that I was teaching 
in a place that was a sign company and I, uh, I even helped build the signs. Come on. Literally and prophetically by teaching you. Building up the signs and wonders mentality, which is really God's glory coming in and inhabiting the praises. That's what he did when David wrote the Psalms, he inhabited the praises, that spirit and truth of worship, guys. So go ahead and sing the Psalms that David wrote because they're from God. They're God's praises in his church, amen? In his tabernacles, no matter where you meet him. So also on top of this all is this recovery place. So <laughs> between the beauty and the... Uh, In the church, we got this recovery place. Amen. So God, we just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right here. Maybe it didn't look like much to some, but I was faithful to do that little thing. We thank you, Lord, that, that the sign of that eagle, God, you show me that we shall rise. Vancouver, Washington shall rise up on the wings of eagles. Amen. Keep following Yeshua HaMashiach in Yahweh's mighty name. Amen. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, is what it says in many Bibles. Uh, uh, right. Mention. But the Spirit of the Lord is Yahweh. Is what it really means in original language. The Spirit of the Lord is Yahweh. Amen. The Spirit is God. The Spirit, the Spirit is God. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God. The Baruch HaKodesh. That is the, that is God. Amen. That's what the original language says. The Spirit Baruch HaKodesh. That is God. Amen. Look it up in your original languages as much as you can and you'll see Oh, that we thank you, Lord, that your spirit is coming even more to change the mindsets of Christ's church. Amen. And so we bless you, God, in Yeshua's mighty name, Yeshua HaMashiach's name. This day, we thank you for that prophetic vision of that eagle that was right in front of my eyes as I began to bless my wife going in there to get some food. Don't you know, back to the beginning again, Jesus said, feed my sheep. Amen. As, as you feed your sheep, God manifests things in the spirit. We shall see our cities restored in the United States of America as we focus on God, no matter what you're going through. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. Amen. This is Tom Panich from Holy Anointed Ministries, drummer for God, <coughs> prophet of the Most High, amen, not for profit, but to prophesy these things in Jesus' name. I'm not here to declare my name, I'm here to declare what God did, amen, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs>